Okay, so the first thing I like to do is just rough up the screen a little bit and get rid of any uh, leftover glue from the previous screen. Um, simple radial, radial sander and some 40 grit sandpaper. The main reason I wanted to make an updated version is just I, there was a little technique difference that I started using that resulted in much better screens, much tighter screens. And also a lot of people were asking how tight that the screens were getting. Um, and I didn't have a tension meter, so I decided to bite the bullet and get a tension meter. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like at the end. I'm getting to the touch. They feel great. They feel nice and tight. But, um, you know, it's nice, to, it's nice to be able to see how tight they actually are. We'll see how I, how I do on this screen. But uh, my bank getting um, 18, 19, 20, 21 um, newtons on my screen tension which is actually a pretty decent result so um, I'm gonna start off by just gluing the two sides no tension or anything I'm just gonna glue the two sides and go from there the other thing that I did was I broke down and got some Ryanette. that um, it's basically super glue um, it also has an activator which um, allows it to dry really quickly um, so this is what I've been working with it works well just like the tubes in the previous video um, works about the same way, but this dries much quicker because it has the activator. So um, so this has worked out pretty well for me. It's fairly expensive. Um, I would guess I'm probably going to get about 20 screens out of this for close to $60. So Okay, so I've glued down the two sides and let them dry a little bit. Um, so one of the changes that I've made is in the first video, I was stretching both directions, this direction and this direction at the same time. But I found I get, get much better results if I just stretch one direction at a time. So I've been going the long way first. Um, so I will clamp this down, stretch it this direction, and then I'll, and then I'll loosen it and stretch it in this direction. Okay, so it is not tight at all. This is not a very tight screen, but in this direction, it's pretty tight. You can feel, I can feel the, the tightness of it going this direction. When it really comes together is when I tighten it the other direction. So I've tightened this. I would say I've pushed out a little, maybe just a little bit more than an inch. Um, so I've stretched the, stretched the screen a little more than an inch. Okay, so I've got this glued up. Um, I did loosen the pressure on this just so I can move it a little bit so that it's not it's not being held down. So I, now I'm gonna stretch it this direction. Um, glue's nice and dry, so I'm ready to do that. So I'm just gonna clamp this up and then I'm gonna stretch it back the other direction. Now that I have this clamp, this is ju it's just not tight at all right now. It's definitely unusable, so when I tighten this up, um, it wasn't so much about the way that it went this direction. It's going to tighten up when I go this direction. Okay, so I've tightened this thing up pretty well. It's, it's about 18, 19, 20. It's a nice, nice tight screen, and um, I'm going to glue this. I'm going to glue this four side. And then I'll cut it out and then uh, I'll measure it again. I do kind of at this stage like to let it sit for a couple minutes before I glue it because I've read that it's gonna that the screen will stretch a little bit, the silk will stretch a little bit. 
but um, I haven't seen a whole lot of difference after I've after I've glued it to when I put them into practice. So, so anyway, that's that's about what I'm looking at, and uh, it's a nice decent nice decent screen in my opinion. So. Okay, so I've screen I've stretched this and glued uh, horizontally across across the screen now, um, which will give us pretty much the final result. Um, I don't know if you can quite see this, um, see the Newton meter, but in this corner it's 22. Um, so it's a nice consistent 20, 21 degrees or 21 newtons. Um, okay, so I've cut I've cut the screen out. Um, it's a you know it's a really nice usable screen. Hopefully uh, this will help somebody out. I will include the link to my previous video that went into a little more detail about how I assembled the screen stretcher. I haven't changed anything on the assembly of the screen stretcher, just the technique of stretching one side than the other. Uh, hopefully this will help somebody out, and um, good luck to you.